Hello and welcome back to Gina B. Living Fully where I focus on Dollar Tree hauls every Sunday so that's once a week and um, I have another Dollar Tree for you so before I get to that I just want to extend a huge huge thank you to anyone that has decided to jump on to my little no frills channel um, thank you so much for your support and for watching uh, I'm I'm very tech <laughs> un untech <laughs> savvy uh, but I am able to just work with my phone and off the cuff make a video every week of what I have purchased from the Dollar Tree and I put it up every Sunday so thank you so much again for your support if you're new to my channel and you like Dollar Tree hauls and you don't mind a no frills upload every Sunday please please like share subscribe and hit that little bell so you can be notified whenever I upload new content. I, I definitely am very focused on just providing Dollar Tree hauls. Ever so often a DIY, which if you watch to the end today, I'm gonna to show you a couple of my DIYs that I have created from Dollar Tree items. Yes, yes. So please, yes, if you like this sort of content, like, subscribe, share, and hit that bell so you can be notified. Again, I know I'm repeating myself. You can be notified whenever I upload a new Dollar Tree haul. Yes. Um, I, I have been challenged in getting out in my area. I, I live up in the hills. It's been raining and raining and raining, and I'm in Placerville, California. And so, yeah, we've taken on a lot of water and wind, and I'm telling you, it is coming again this evening. So I had to jump out today and, and get that Dollar Tree haul done so that I could share it with you before we are hit again. If you are living in the California region and you have been hit with these storms, I'm praying for you. I'm hoping that everything is okay with you and yours and um, yeah we're gonna make it work we needed the water we're getting it you get what you ask for <laughs> the universe is providing the water so um, let's get started I literally scored so many wonderful things and um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some beautiful beauty products that I got um, self-care products uh, those of you who have started following me and you're understanding the fact that I'm kind of into the healing field um, I am a uh, not only a massage practitioner I was a teacher for a very 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 long time so I'm always on the hunt at Dollar Tree for anything wellness or nurturing and I found something for the scalp and I thought it was fantastic. Also, if you've been watching me, you know that I, I wear a lot of scarves. I have alopecia areata, and I'm always looking for little remedies and things to keep my scalp in good condition so I don't have another outbreak. I have been in a remission for four years, knock on wood. So with that being said, there is a five-in-one leave-in spray by Be Pure, and it came with, look at how nice that is. See that? And um, you spray this in after you wash your hair. Yes, look at that. So it is infused with uh, tea tree. This is all tea tree infused products. This is another Be Pure. This is a scalp scrub. Sorry for the glare. Sorry for the glare, but there, there it is. Um, it exfoliates the scalp and removes buildup for a healthier looking hair. Yeah. So this little duo, I was impressed with that. You know, anytime I find something that 
is uh, nurturing for the scalp or the skin. I'm going to pick it up from Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five because it's worth it's worth it to give it a shot. You never know. I have found some excellent essential oils at the Dollar Tree um, by the Aroma Guru. So I I thought that Be Pure is a name brand. So I I picked that up. I was so impressed. So I'll let you know how it goes. But yeah, very, very good tea tree is. Very, very good. It's an antibacterial, antimicrobial. It um, will also, uh, with the exfoliant, it's going to open up those pores so that the hair can grow freely if there are any block. What happens when we use regular products is we get a buildup on the scalp. So that's going to cleanse and remove the buildup. And I'm thinking you can get about three or four treatments out of that scrub. And the spray bottle is should last 30 days. So good and good. I found a new nail polish, a brand. It's it's called C V. And I I I don't typically, as a massage therapist, I don't wear long nails. I keep them short. And traditionally, you're not supposed to wear glued on nails or, you know, um, have acrylic nails on, um, when you're working with clients, um, bacteria can get underneath the bed. Um, so what I like to do is wear them very, very short and on occasion put a little single coat of a very neutral color and look at this beautiful color I found. Look at that beautiful color and it includes a nail hardener in, in the product itself. So it's going to help harden the nails. When you have alopecia, areata, the, the nail beds can become weak. Now, I haven't experienced that um, at all, but I, I'm always looking for nail hardeners because I'm immersed in oil a lot and it does soften my nail. Um, so this includes a nail hardener right into the product and what a beautiful baby mauve pink color. And then there's the clear quick drying top and what beautiful bottles, right? Now, if you don't use nail polish for your nails, these are excellent for small painting projects if you do DIYs. Um, these, these are very good paints. Yes. So if you were going to do an image, like paint a little flower on a dish or whatever, this is a wonderful way to go. Yeah. But for me, it's going to be nail polish. So there you go. CV new product at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to dip down for a minute. Uh, I also found these adorable little, these are professional quality makeup brushes. These were a wish item for me. I saw um, several Dollar Tree uh, haulers pick these up. And the first time I went to my Dollar Tree, I, I didn't see them. I saw them today. These are beautiful makeup brushes, aren't they? And I think there's little confetti inside, but they're good quality. They're soft and I can open them for you um, just so we can see how soft they are. But they, yeah, they're really soft. They're really soft and they've got a little, a little confetti in there. And I needed to replace some makeup brushes. Yeah, the older, I get the less makeup I use, but I love a good finishing powder. Not a heavy powder, but I love a good finishing lightweight powder or light highlighters just around the edge here. Um, and so my collection of brushes has gotten very small, but about every three to six months, I pick up new ones. And for $1.25, these are a fantastic find. Fantastic. Even if you just want to grab them as a gift for a teenager that's just starting out, or if you want to carry them in your purse. So there you have it. Two phenomenal little makeup brushes. 
And then to go along with that theme of confetti, I found these adorable makeup pouches or coin pouches. They can be used for anything really. What I like to do with these is put my selection of essential oils to carry with me to uh, do my massage at the doctor's office. I love doing that. And then in the smaller pouch, I can put my little roll-on um, uh, muscle ease uh, blend and I these go in my bag but these would make great little coin purses or makeup purses whatever you want to put in there the zippers I double checked they're fantastic yes and so inside it's just real easy cleanup very simple little bags. They're $1.25 for two. You can't beat that. If you have a kid that that wants to bring little erasers, um, you know, to school, this would be great. Yeah. Love those. Okay, enough of the beauty products. What I did get in the medical section or medicine cabinet section were these little sleep aids. I've talked about them in previous hauls, but I won't bore you. I just picked those up. You get eight to a pack, and they are a melatonin blend with lavender and chamomile, and I believe lemon balm. Um, and then, of course, my, my trusty gas pills. My customers at the office, they come in from lunch. They need something if they're going to lay down. So I'm picking those up forever. I just put them in a little, a little um, bowl and and uh, these little tweezers, and they can just grab what they need. Um, I found I I found the most adorable. So I have a little um, area with a mirror. So it's a cabinet, and it's a beautiful kind of a darker maple, and it, the little drawers are bamboo. And there's no windows in my room. And so what I do is I illuminate my mirror with little fairy lights. But a live plant doesn't do well. So I found these. These were in, you know that section called the last minute gifts? So I found these and they just prop up and they're like a real flower or a real plant. And I got the whole collection. I believe I hauled this one in a previous um, upload of mine uh, before Christmas. And it was going into a stocking for my daughter for her desk. Well, these look at those. I love that. But I now have all three and these are going in my little massage office to give that illusion of like a plant. I just thought they were gorgeous. And if I have a client that's particularly sad, I may just let them take it home. Yeah, you can't beat it for $1.25. They make great little gifts. Um, or what I would say, the perfect desk decor. And you don't have to water it. <laughs> love it! Gotta love that. Okay. Simple, simple, I got some household items. Let me um, show you, we got a really nice two pack of super glue. This is an excellent brand. It is the um, five minute um, quick setting epoxy clear super glue. And it's the original super glue brand. Look at that, two pack. And all you need is a drop. I have seen some Dollar Tree haul um, videos um, demonstrating how to actually use super glue to you to stick on your acrylic, you know, the fake nails. I thought that was interesting. I thought you had to have just like a little nail glue. I didn't. I thought maybe that would be too harsh, but they're doing it and they're not having any trouble. So that might be something to look into. But I we use these for crafts for repairing things. And my husband needs this for a project he's doing. So I'm going to get that up real close again. You get a two-pack. Yeah, you can't beat that. Scrubbing buddies. <laughs> These are scrubbing buddies. I love scrubbing buddies in my kitchen. Love them. you got the scrubber side and the soft side. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, okay. 
this is a really cool idea and a cool find. So I found these precious little wooden heart ornaments. There's a 24 pack of various sizes of the of these incredible little hearts. I'm going to show you the different sizes and look at how pretty those are. Now, I was a little upset when I realized after I picked them up there was no hole in them. I like it when they come with a little hole cuz I was going to make a garland. But my idea for this is to literally glue these on a um a canvas and create a 3D effect. And uh you know, hearts are all year round, but I'm decorating just a tiny bit for Valentine's Day. So I picked those up and I thought that was an amazing find. 24 pieces. These could be made into jewelry. You could drill your own hole, do jewelry. You could do a couple, a couple of earrings. Yeah, a couple of earrings would be awesome out of these. Yes, lots of great ideas with these little wooden hearts. They go beautiful on a, um, okay. So another idea, because the opposite side looks like it is um, wood color, so very plain. You could write a message on the back of these in a black paint or a dark brown paint. Um, if you have a wood burning tool, a fine wood burning tool, laser tool, you could laser a little message, but I don't have that. I do, however, have the really ultra thin Sharpie. And I was thinking of making little messages also. That's another idea of making little messages and putting them in a basket. Inspirational messages of love, acceptance, and putting them in a basket and adding those to my office during the Valentine season. It's a toss up. If you want to suggest which one I should do. Should I do the picture on, on the canvas, 3D picture on the canvas, or should I make little messages and give them away to clients? What do you think? Please, please put something down in the comments below, or if you have another idea, let me know. And then I found these are just fantastic. These are the Crafter Square finger protectors. Now these are really good if you're doing a craft where you're going to be working with maybe the glue gun or you're going to be working specifically I think with needles, needle and thread. This looks like a thimble. But let me tell you what I am going to be using it for if it fits correctly um, and it will fit correctly. It's perfect. So I have issues with latex and I have to use these sometimes to go around the mouth to work on TM and around near the ear. So anywhere you have an insertion, I when I do massage work, I, I work all along this jaw line and I also work in the lines. I do a lymphatic drainage. So I thought, these are great. They can be sanitized and I can use them or I can just throw them away and buy another pack. But these are a very nice material and they don't feel like those, the latex, they're called finger gloves and they come all the way down to here and they tend to cut off my circulation and I'm not a fan of typical latex. But this feels like a silicone or like a silpat material, and you can literally do a um, bleach and water wash with a little bit of Dove and sanitize these with boiling water, and I can reuse them, and they've got a good blunt edge. So for massage therapy around the, the mouth, okay, yeah, and right around the jaw and the ear or around the 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 nasal area, all of these facial, facial muscles can get an amazing massage without my finger or my nail getting into their, you know, skin or moving any kind of bacteria around their face. So this is a good tool. 
very good tool for that. But it was engineered to be a thimble, okay, for like, you know, here when you're stitching, all right? That is a fantastic find, and I'm going to say could be the find of the day. It could be. I haven't voted yet <laughs> of what the find of the day was. Yeah, not quite sure, but I think this could be it. You get a three-pack for $1.25, and I can literally, like I said, I can sanitize these and bring them out again. Fantastic massage tool. Yeah. Yeah, I think that might be the find of the day. So, another amazing item I found. It is time for me. Okay, another find of the day. So, I have a beautiful bamboo um, silverware separator and what has been happening it's old now it's about 10 years old and the little center separators have been kind of lifting up so I'm going to take it out of the drawer and I'm going to be inserting these these are worth their weight in gold you can use these to separate all your crafting supplies but it has this little rubber made bottom and this beautiful black look and I mean it has protectors on the bottom so it doesn't scratch your drawer up I mean for my forks knives spoons I got I picked up four these are spectacular and they're gonna fit in my long drawer just beautifully what a find what a find. Yes, I had to pose with that. Another big find of the day. Yeah. So got got one for each utensil, and I'm very, very happy about that. Okay. Another storage wonderful find, and I'm going to encourage you, go to Dollar Tree if you're trying to organize drawers. There is a famous, I forget her name, but a famous famous Dollar Tree hauler and she does so much organizing and if you just go on to YouTube you will see her she's amazing she's even been interviewed on national television and I just think that she was the first person I ever watched that inspired me um, and she does all this organizing with Dollar Tree stuff so yeah, you want you want to go to Dollar Tree if you're organizing. It's the first of the year, it's the time to do it. It's time to throw stuff out. Now I hauled these in an off-white for the summer season and I'm gonna fold those up and use them. I can use them for other areas in various cubbies around the house. But in my main armoire in my bedroom, I have a glass front and I put all my clothes in baskets and I found the most amazing color uh, black gray it's like a charcoal gray in various sizes to hold all my little clothes yes I am a minimalist to a degree people come in my house and go wow how how do you do that you know it it takes a lot to not overbuy um, and I just don't, I rotate, I give away, I whatever I keep, I keep. I just don't over collect. So I got these big squares. And what you do is you open them up and there's a little um, hard surface and it just plops and it holds it together. But these are material. They're, they're collapsible, if you will, okay? These go great under the bed for storage. So you can put items in here and store them under the bed. Sorry, I had a wandering eye for a minute there. Yes, I definitely had eye issues when I was young. I have had them fixed. Um, I got my eye surgery. I've got my lenses. My I call them my bionic lenses. And I see 20-20, baby. But every once in a while, there's a wandering. <laughs> this eye, my left eye, can do a wander. Um, okay, so here it is. See? charcoal and a black handle it's beautiful and i got all the sizes that i need and i love these little ones these um yeah so i'm gonna just show you the little one okay but if you need collapsible um hold on here we go so it comes like this, 
it comes like this in it, in, in it literally it opens. See how collapsible that is? And it comes with the little flap that fits on the bottom to keep it straight. And then once you put stuff in it, it's good to go. I wouldn't recommend really heavy items in here, but for my socks, my, my underwear, my little private, my bras, you know what I mean? It's perfect for that, see? There you go. That's a sharp color. And it's a dark mahogany wood with glass. So this is gonna look so beautiful in there. The white ones looked great in the summer, but I really needed a darker color to get me through the winter months. And they were getting a little bit floppy. It was time, it was definitely time, but they lasted almost a whole year. I wanna say almost a year. Yeah, because I, I got them prior to uh, summer and I used them, I think, in the early um, spring. I think I got them in March of 2022 and they're just ready to rotate you know and I will make use of them but I wanted to use these for a dollar 25 you can't beat them so you know I ended up spending a total of 50 bucks today on all of my stuff but I got so much yeah so my entire armoire is going to get a makeover from Dollar Tree items can't beat it okay I found if you hear banging, I think my husband might be outside. Yeah, I hear some banging going on. So I'm, I'm assuming he's outside. But this candle is so beautiful. Um, it's called the Rose Collection. It's got a beautiful copper top. I hauled one like this for summer, um, but it was totally different smells. And the glass can be reused. It smells like heaven. This is honey blossom and amber. And look at the beautiful color. And that is just going to do me right. These can be reused. You could put um, your own shea butter cream in there. You could use it as a catch all for your jewelry. Or you could refill it and make a new candle. But I got two of those today. Two of those. Yes. I like to pose with my items, can you tell? Can you tell? I like to pose with my items. What a dork. Okay, so another valuable find. So if you go to a Hallmark or you go to any store um, to get a card, it's like three, sometimes six. At downtown Placerville, there is a beautiful store that has greeting cards, and they're like seven, eight dollars. I'm not gonna lie; I'm telling you the truth. Look at this gorgeous card I got. This is for a loved one. I love you to the moon and back. So I'm gonna take it out so you don't get the glare. It's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm so impressed with this. Oh gosh, please help. Please help, I can't open. There it is, I got it. I got it, 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 I got it. So here it is. It's two little bears swinging on a swing at nighttime. It says, I love you to the moon. I say that to my family all the time. I love you to the moon. And then it has this beautiful red card. So what a beautiful, and look at the moon in the back. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. That is just gorgeous. So I thought for $1.25, and it says on the inside, today and always, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Had to have it. That's going to a special somebody. You know it. Okay. Household item. I got some Fabuloso. I've been seeing these hauled and I finally got them at my Dollar Tree. They're a vinegar um, multi-purpose cleaner and with vinegar. And it looks like it's um, definitely got apple. It's apple scent, but it's got a little vinegar in it. So I'm gonna be cleaning out my shower. It was getting a little gnarly 
you know <laughs> it happens you know you go along it looks really good and and you and all of a sudden you get in you go oh my gosh you know it gets the little you start seeing the little bit of mold i'm seeing it just a hint well, this girl got to get it together i got a clean house baby got to clean it got to do it got to love it got to live it okay clean these all clear wipes i bring them to work i sanitize every tool every surface because i'm working with bodies so yeah love these even after i clean my wash my hands i'll take one of these out wash my hands pat my face throw it away yeah i keep it clean girls keep it clean girls and boys um I thought these were beautiful. These are beautiful terry cloth cotton. Um, it says, this kitchen is seasoned with love. And I thought that would be perfect for Valentine's Day season. But you know what? It's good all year round. It's good all year round. I got two of them. Yes. Right? Hello. Just saying. Okay. This is going to be a long one, guys. I'm telling you, I went to town. I found garlic powder at the Dollar Tree. I was in a pinch. My husband was um, going to the grocery store, and I said, you know what? Don't get the garlic powder. I found some. We're good. This will last us for a little bit. I know it's not prima donna perfection, but, you know, it's a quick season. It's not an herb. It, it's, it's okay. It'll work. It's freeze-dried garlic. It will be fine. Not the end of the world. He had to have taco sauce. I said, don't buy it over there. You're going to get a big box of it. Just, uh, we got all the other stuff. All we need is the taco mix. And this is Old Del Paso. Yeah, for a buck 25, just a single. It's, that's not a huge, great deal. You can get those at the grocery store. But they're not selling them singles at my grocery store right now. You got to buy the whole pack over and over. I don't want to do that. Okay. The food find of the day, baby cheddar cheese crackers these are like cheese it's nine packs my hubby needs his snack -a roonies so i bought these for him i made him get two he can take these to the health club and have a little snack with some apple slices and it's not the end of the world these are great they weren't horrible like over the top in salt and they're just a good little crunch to keep his energy up when he works out. So that's a good deal. If you have kids going to school and they have to bring a snack, yes. And yes. Right? That's not a healthy item and it's not a really unhealthy item. It's just a snack, right? Not the end of the world. And then the old man had to have some chocolate chip cookies. Look what I found. I found the Mrs. Fields chocolate chip premium cookie dough. Yes. So we're going to make those up. Yeah. I get maybe one. <laughs> yeah, because this girl, the only way this girl lost all that 40 pounds was to not be eating these all the time and, or chips. No. No, I have to do my little healthy, I make my own little rolls with cacao nibs instead of real chocolate. But I get to treat myself once or twice a month to major treat. So we're doing that. And then in the frozen food section, I found some blueberries. These are excellent quality. Oops, they got a little bit. I got to get this in the freezer. But these blueberries are fantastic. Yes. And I got a stir-fried blend with broccoli peppers, broccoli and peppers. Yes. And then these just needed a little bit. Yeah. Got those. Excellent. So that is the Dollar Tree portion haul. Okay. Let me show you what I did. So... At the Dollar Tree, in my last haul, I got this simple little box. There was nothing on it. I also got these beautiful decals 
they're not stickers, but they're just like a decal. So you can decoupage them on any surface. So I decoupage them on after I painted this a, an ochre color with acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. And I then decoupaged the butterflies on top. And then I did a clear glaze with a decoupage um, over the top. I did puzzle saver. So Dollar Tree sells puzzle saver from time to time in the crafter square section and I put the puzzle saver on top it's rock hard and it is holding my jewelry so it's my new jewelry catch and it's in the shape of a heart and I fell in love with it and that's what I did with it I am so stoked about that product look how pretty that I didn't want to do the whole box I like this naked feeling here and then just the top See what you can do? That that didn't cost me hardly anything. I mean, literally. So then I did, so remember my wooden heart, if you go to the, directly down to the previous Dollar Tree haul, I hauled a plain wooden heart. And look what I did. So I, I did a blended green and blue paint then I decoupaged all of the butterflies on top. And then I did the clear coat of the puzzle saver on top of that. You could just go get a clear spray paint and, and do that as well. But I tried to just use all Dollar Tree items and I did. And look how beautiful that turned out. And on the back is just plain. But that's what the heart looked like. And that's what it looks like now. So those were my little bonus items I wanted to show you. By the way, in the background are the little red hearts um, in my glass vase that I, um, they're little heart lights. I hauled them in the last haul. So if you look in the hall below, that has all these items that I just showed you in it. And now they have been used and DIY'd. So all I did is I took a vase a vase and I put some little candies and some clear rocks in there and then I added the heart shaped lights and I put in these uh, silk roses and so that's everything you guys I sure hope you enjoyed this time with me it was a long one I, I can't believe how long I went and I sure hope you watch and that you like and you subscribe to my channel and you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new Dollar Tree haul. I sure hope you have a blessed day and thank you again. Thank you so very much to all of my new subscribers. I deeply appreciate it and it encourages me to keep going. And again, have a blessed day and stay safe if you're in the California region going through rough weather. Take care. Bye-bye and see you next week.